Welcome back, guys. So we're continuing on with the Black Friday goodness, this time with the Walmart ad. It's an actual scan of the advertisement. I have no idea how they're going to be getting these things out to people. Are, are, do they still deliver newspapers? Are they just going to put this in your mailbox? I'm not 100%. I used to deliver newspapers a long time ago for a long time, to be honest with you. I wasn't a kid either. I was a grown-ass adult. I was a paper man. What? I hated that job. But it paid so well for the little bit of work that I had to do, even though it was seven days a week. It, it was worth it at the time. I needed the money. But I remember people I worked with at my other job, my main job, that knew I did it. As soon as Black Friday ads were starting to come out, which we would get the actual physical ads a few weeks prior. They'd be on lockdown. But sometimes you could sneak in, grab a bundle for yourself. You know what I mean? On the down low. And then people at work be like, hey, yo. I give you like five bucks if you get me those ads. I was like, hell yeah, dude. That's lunch right there. I was selling ads left and right. Hell yeah, dude. I don't care. I would just jack the bundles and sell them. I'd get the heads up first. Okay, where am I going on Black Friday? But you know, you know I keep an ad for myself. So here we go. Let's just get right into it. Walmart Black Friday ad. You got a bunch of deals. Bear with me on this scan. Some of it's a little of iffy quality, but we do get the uh, idea here. There's 12 pages that we get to look at. On the front page, it's just saying, hey, Wednesday, they're opening up 7 p.m. Eastern online, Black Friday deals. So you got a few things here, Apple stuff going on sale, and then some consoles that going to be hard to get. This stuff's going to be online only, them PlayStations and Xboxes, right? 70-inch Vizio for $478. Vizios aren't too bad. I'm not sure, like, you know, take a look at the uh, ratings on these TVs. That's a good deal right there. Online only. Cool. Right on. Arm bar and some grandmas for those TVs, dude. Suplex and babies. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that Black Friday deal for the Switch is everywhere. But let's take a look at the games. Wednesday, November 25th, 7 p.m. Eastern online only. So that's going to be 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific, right? Right? Do I, am I getting that right? $30 for first party Nintendo games, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Super Mario Deluxe, Mario Tennis Aces, Luigi's Mansion, Yoshi's Crappy World, Mario Maker 2, Splatoon 2, and Zelda. This thing's blurrier than a picture of freaking Bigfoot in my backyard. Holy crap. Sports titles, 28 bucks. Told you guys, everywhere. All over the place, all over your face. $15, Mortal Kombat Grand... Th oh my god, it's so hard to see these, dude. Uh... Wow, Bioshock download, you know, you gotta download, what is that, is, is that the, that's not the Master Chief collection, is it, or is that Halo 5? Well, you know, let's move on, $15 for some budget titles, for these Nintendo Switch titles right there, that's a deal right there, Maneater, 15 bucks, nice, let's see what else do we got here, they're advertising the PS5 and that Xbox Series X, like, you could just walk in and grab one, online only, I'm sure they've withheld stock, a lot of these companies, mind you, they always do this every year, especially when there's big launches right before Black Friday, they withhold stock. Remember that. So Black Friday, it may be possible, but it's going to be very competitive trying to get these things. And nobody knows for sure how many of these stores are going to have. Like GameStop supposedly is going to have like two, if that, maybe more. So depending on the store, your location, more rural areas, you know. You might have better luck, you know what I'm saying? $25, these are not the best deals that I've seen. Like Squadrons, Star Wars Squadrons have been 20 bucks elsewhere. Um, yeah, so like you're going to find some of this stuff cheaper. $20 for Spyro Collection, Crash Team Racing. Uh, is that the uh, Kingdom Hearts all-in-one all collection? Gears 5. Death Stranding, so hard to see these uh, pictures, man. I wish somebody would have used a high-res scanner to get this shit, you know what I mean? $30 Final Fantasy VII Remake. Better deals out there, but these guys do have some awesome deals for stuff. Xbox controllers, 40 bucks. That Xbox three-month Ultimate Game Pass, $22.88 online only. I'm hoping with these places that are selling those that there is no limit. So I just want to get a bunch of those. So that's going to be one of my biggest things. Then we do get some of uh, those TV deals. Samsung 65-inch Class 7000 4K Smart TV, 478 bucks, 398 for a 58-inch version. So that looked like you know pretty much it for the gaming deals. This is what's left here. 
portable DVD tablet. What? I guess like, you put in your car or something. Holy crap. Weighted blanket. I never understood. What's the point? Somebody throw a comment down below. What the hell is the point of a weighted blanket? I don't I don't know what the point is. Maybe there's some kind of scientific reason for it. You got a little kid jumping on a trampoline, 25 bucks. This little dude thinking he's going to bust out some awesome tricks. Grinding that little, what is that? Oh, it's a Razor electric scooter. Maybe not grinding that thing on some rails, but maybe. 69 bucks, man. I ride one of those around. A portable spa. Put that shit out on your patio. Like you live in an apartment. Imagine you buy one of those and you have like a little patio. Yeah, boom. I got me a freaking hot tub, bitch. It blows up with air, but it's a hot tub. These freaking hoverboards, 69 bucks, man. When those things were first hot, they're not even a hoverboard. Give me a fucking break. You know, there's two wheels on that thing. It's not hovering anywhere. But weren't those things like setting people's houses on fire, blowing up and shit? Like, I, I don't know, man. I wouldn't buy one of those. I mean, maybe I would, but my fat ass would break it the second I got on it. Man, I've been losing weight, though, man. You want to know how I've been losing weight? Eating tacos every fucking day. Tacos. I lost 40 pounds in a month and a half eating tacos all the time. Taco Tuesday every day. Tacos for life, bro. What? Roku uh, streaming media player, 17 bucks. Can you hack it? I don't think so. Not with the Roku stuff. With the Fire Sticks. We did a video on the Fire Stick not too long ago. Adding NES games, Super Nintendo, all that stuff. A Google Chromecast, man. Wasn't YouTube giving those things away for free? If you have YouTube Premium and they're giving you like a Stadia controller because people just aren't adopting it. And they're just like, here, just take it. Take it. Just take it. So if you didn't know that and you've had YouTube Premium or whatever it's called for a little while now, you should qualify to get one if it's still going on. I don't know what you're going to use it for. $20 printer. Who gives a shit? You can buy some freaking nutcrackers. Five feet, eight inches tall. <sighs> Keep him away from my nuts. Fuck, dude. All right, what else? We got some pillows, some bath towels, Zen plus trash can to put all that shit in. $1.60 for some crappy ass towels, dude. You buy these cheap ass towels. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, man. When I was way younger, this is a long time ago. I was first moving out, getting a place of my own. Buying bath towels. I made that mistake. Buying the cheapest fucking towels you can get. Like, like freaking pick and save freaking bath towels. You know what I mean? Like, uh, dude, like, get some quality bath towels. Your ass will thank you. You know what I mean? You dry on your butt cheeks. And, you know, them cheap ass towels, like, it's like almost like a freaking fine grit sandpaper. You know what I mean? Keep that shit away from my skin. What else do we got here? Quick dry memory foam bath rug i don't i don't like those man i don't like those they like they like absorb shit you get like mold on that crap i don't know man you gotta wash it but like that memory foam stuff it gets all fucked up i don't like those i don't like memory foam bath towel mat type things get out of here get out of here what else do we got i think we're almost done we got a few pages oh pioneer woman i'm a pioneer woman i want some 20 piece gadget set with some measuring cups spatulas is what i'm talking about the hell give me some bed sheets i actually need some uh some bed sheets that's 35 dollars. eight piece comforter i don't uh, if it's mainstay yeah that's their brand that mainstay get the fuck out of here with that dude i don't want that shit i mean i if i probably would if i went there <sighs> men's boxer briefs I, come on man ten dollars you don't got better deals than that some some little kids undies some fucking socks Deals all over the place. That's the one thing. Like we used to go to, we used to go to Walmart and get the kids like pajamas and fucking, you know, just the bullshit, the stuff that you don't really like. You 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 want decent stuff, but it's like they're just gonna sleep in it. So I don't want to pay no like thirty dollars for a pair of PJs. Like go to Black Friday deals at Walmart, walk in, get some freaking kids pajamas, some pajajays, and roll on out. Used to go to like Toys R Us. Man, I miss Toys R Us. Fucking a. Toys R Us Black Friday when my kids were young. Get those diapers. Holy crap. The butt wipes, the ass wipes, the booty wipes. Be getting like cases of them for five bucks. Man, if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Especially if you're not rich, dude. Like if you're rich, sure. You can afford Huggies. The rest of us, we, we get in the budget brands. You know what I mean? The store brands. And Toys R Us is the one place I used to always go to to get that stuff. Like for Black Friday. We'd stock up. 
get all them wipes, man. Get all of them. Just grab them all. We'll go in, in, in rotations if there's a limit. Like, we'll just keep going in and out. You know what I mean? $29 for some bikes. Hell yes. What kind of bikes are those? Those huffies. Doesn't even say. My, my, my youngest son's six years old. He's like, Dad, am I too old for a Power Wheels? And I'm like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't even see them anywhere anymore except for in the mall. And they're like the bootleg ass ones. And they're like real tiny. Like they're almost like RC cars. But that's the one thing, man. Toys R Us. It's like I'm about to, about to shut a tear here. You don't understand. Toys R Us, you can go in, take a look at the Power Wheels. I've had them for my other kids when they were younger. My youngest son, he's the only one. It's kind of like, where do I go, man? I don't see them anywhere anymore. Toys R Us had aisles of that shit. And you could sit in them. You know what I mean? See if you fit in there. If your kid's too big, too little, whatever the case may be. But no, man. I can miss Toys R Us. But $98 for that Chevy Silverado. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, guys, there it is, man. Be safe out there. Keep yourself protected. You know, if you got a suplex of grandma or freaking... You know, body slam a baby, get some old crazy dude in a cross face chicken wing. Just manage your business. Be careful. Try not to get into those situations to begin with. But if you have to, just make sure you're prepared. So, hey, guys, really do appreciate it. With that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.